Hello, subscribers of YouTube. This is CD Man Gak. I'm bringing you another Sigma 2 update video. This is mainly for the people who have subscribed to me for the purpose of getting to be able to see my Ninja Guy and Sigma 2 walkthrough on the series. For those of you who have subscribed for other reasons, you can you don't have to be here for this unless you'd like to. Right here, this is just a, my Ninja Record stats. These are all the numbers I have. Keep in mind that these numbers are based off of running through Sigma 2 twice the campaign the story mode twice one being on warrior mode the other being on mentor mode so if the numbers are feeble compared to yours keep in mind that this is only for, from two playthroughs so maybe it makes it a bit more impressive maybe it still is not so impressive <laughs> whatever though so feel free to pause just you know look at the stats kind of gander at it for a while I do miss so so many of my levels and uh, scores I was I was originally gonna read these all to you but guys but I assume that you all can you know read English speak numbers or you know maybe or maybe you know be a bit fuzzy but I need all the time to get to talk about it I completed mentor mode Friday I think it was Thursday or Friday I started master ninja mode today and I have realized that you know master ninja mode it is definitely definitely head and shoulders above mentor mode in terms of difficulty and that's without the heels which is going to be a metaphor I'm going to use in a minute <laughs> to give you an idea just how difficult master ninja mode is compared to mentor mode here's breakdown of me playing through the campaign mode on warrior difficulty I did not die once nor did I use a talisman or birth once mentor mode my first death occurred on chapter 11 which is Ionis chapter which I find ironic and funny because I have so much trouble on that chapter <laughs> And uh, it's going to be a semi-rant video when I post that chapter up, but I'll get tips out to you and whatnot, but I'm just going to talk about it on in there. This is me going to chapter one on, mentor, on Master Ninja mode, sorry. Yeah, but mentor mode, first death occurred, chapter 11, died about four times there, and then died once or twice every chapter from then on. Master Ninja mode, I have just barely gotten to chapter two. I have died about 25 to 30 times. The majority of those deaths being before I even got to the building in chapter 1, which is after the cutscene where Ryu does the whole skydiving thing into the building. <laughs> but to go from de your first death being in chapter 11 to your first death being in the very first chapter of the game, that is a huge step up in difficulty. I just not realized that I had not touched mentor mode for so long. I did some I played a lot of chapter challenge mode stuff mainly so I can get the very hot outfits for the girls <laughs> mostly Momiji and of course some of Ryu uh, one of Ryu's outfits I think it was like the Sigma 2 one but it is definitely it is definitely much different and it's challenging time it takes for me to beat master ninja mode levels take about twice as long as they did before on mentor mode and the, I mean the biggest difference between master ninja mode mentor mode is the damage you receive they do throw stronger enemies at you earlier in the game, but the damage that you receive is also doubled, if not tripled. Mentor mode, I was able to take about two cartwheels to the face, which is when the white ninjas, uh, you know, they do that cartwheel move you saw, they land on you, they do the couple strokes on you and kill you. I was able to take about two of, two of those and be just, you know, barely alive. Master ninja mode, I can't, you know, I die when I just get hit by one. And as you see here, my, my life has just whittled away so fast, because, you know, I have... It's a bit stubborn getting to that little, getting to those storage crates, pots, whatever you want to call them. But I do eventually get my stride right here. I'm in chapter two. I've died a couple of times. I was stupid and bought a talisman or a birth. It saved me, and I didn't want to use it. But I was just, you know, I was like, what? A, I wasted 25,000 essence. I really wanted to use that to gain more essence later on. But I'll just save up and then buy it in chapter four when it's going to come into use. But it's definitely a different beast. I mean, Master Ninja Mode, it stands head and shoulders above Mentor Mode in difficulty, and then it decides to w throw on some heels and then stomp on your ass. And that's a pain in the butt. That kind of you know, catches up, but it is definitely a different beast entirely. And it's going to take me a lot longer than I would like to beat Master Ninja Mode. I can only play... I could only play Sigma 2 for, for so long before it became tedious and workful. Now I can only play for so long before I get tired of dying. Because <laughs> that's the thing. We play video games to have fun, but the only way that we do have fun in video games is basically two ways. Coming off like a badass and winning. 
which is why you know people can can, can get frustrated with Modern Warfare 2. You know they just lost badly. They, did, they didn't have fun, and some YouTube uh, commentators on who are all serious about winning, it's because you know they're serious about having fun, and no, that's the unfortunate way to do it. I'm mostly talking about wins of redemption, and that's all right with me. I can understand that. So, but it's definitely gonna take me a lot longer than I want to. You know. I can't fly through Master Ninja mode like I thought I was going to be able to. But I am going to get this done. By playing Master, by, you know, being able to play Warrior mode, the Mentor mode, the Master Ninja mode, then seeing just the sheer jump in difficulty, it's kind of revitalized, you know, my purpose, in a sense. It makes you feel like, you know what, people need this. People do. They need, you know, this is difficult. Getting that gold health bar, it is a challenge. For the, I, what I'm talking about, if you actually, if the quality is good enough in my earlier videos, you'll see that my the outline of my health bar is actually gold instead of silver. That's because when you beat Master Ninja mode, that's just a little perk they give you. You know, the, it's just kind of a tile. You know, I have completed this game in Master Ninja mode, and I'm missing my gold health bar. I want it back. I'm gonna get it back too. It's gonna take me about maybe till next weekend before I get to chapter 11. Maybe school has died down. There really is no more homework. It's the end of the year. Memorial Day holiday only technically three days of school. I get to play my guitar in class Tuesday. Yeah! See you guys later, man.